Today I will show you how to make this crazy ghost zoom effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have some clips that I have cut up of Osama-san from his 3x music video. So go on whatever clip you want to have this effect on and press Ctrl D to duplicate your clip. And I will show you a couple of crazy variations. So first let's start with a crazy one and the last one will be the best one in my opinion at least. So here on the duplicate layer, we can call this ghost. And on the ghost layer, let's press P. And here on the position, we can position this a bit somewhere, maybe, I don't know, somewhere in a different spot. And now it's important to press T and this will bring us the opacity. With opacity, we can play around. This will pretty much be the ghost, as you can see. And now we need to scale up our ghost. So we need to press S to lock on the scale and let's keyframe it. And I'm going to make the scale at the start, maybe like 140, you know. And now let's press U to see all of our keyframes. By the way, time remap is not supposed to appear for you. This is just what I did to speed run. But if it might appear for you, I don't know. And yeah, let's make the position maybe like somewhere like there. And now let's go to the ending keyframe. Actually, the ending keyframe is right here, but it's gonna show us the different clip. Don't worry, this is going to be a blind game right now. So let's make the scale 179, which what it will basically do is it will make it scale up. I mean, duh. And the opacity to 30. So 30 is going to make it look like a ghost, as you can see, that's really cool. And let's actually make make the position a bit different here. So I'm gonna make it go a bit to the side like this. And let's put that keyframe right at the end. So as you can see, this will look really, really cool. But to make this cooler, we can select all of the keyframes, press F9, and let's press on the scale keyframe. Let's go to the graph editor. I would honestly say this is a pretty important part. You need to drag this point a bit right here, drag this point a bit like this. So yeah, we just made the graph a bit smoother. It's going to come in a bit smoother. And let's go out of there. Now let's press on opacity and go to the graph editor and this graph editor is even more important this one i like to place like there and this one a bit like this yeah i actually place this one like kind of far i'm not gonna lie and now we have this pretty crazy effect already i mean as you can see that is really really cool if you want to make this look like way cooler we can press ctrl y and add some energy to this so i'm just going to go to animation presets user presets and i'm going to be using one of my best packs which is impact presets pack which comes with 25 plus of these crazy energy you know impact presets that we can just drag and drop so for example i can just take extreme ripple and extreme ripple is pretty much just going to give us this crazy like chrome effect i mean just really really cool and yeah you can mess around and drag and drop any of these effects and it will look absolutely ridiculous they're all drag and drop and super easy to use actually let's call this extreme ripple and move on to other ghost variations so here i have a second clip after this clip so here guess what you have to do press ctrl d to duplicate the layer and now we need to press the scale button for this variation there will be no positioning there will be just scale and t opacity now let's press u of course to see the keyframes we made and at the start we keep the keyframes like that but we're also going to add u saturation which is going to be pretty cool and let's keyframe the channel range and now let's go to pretty much almost the last keyframe we don't have to go to the last keyframe it's not that important and here let's make the opacity to 15 which is pretty low but the scale we're going to make it 140. So as you can see, pretty cool ghost. Uh, let's keyframe. Let's select all of these keyframes. Press F9. Very important to do that. And also, let's make the channel range master view. Like, just drag it around. Maybe, maybe let's drag it around like there. Something like this. Yeah, that's gonna look cool. So it's pretty much going to change the colors like this. But as you can see, that's very much not smooth. As you can see, that we don't like that. So let's go to the scale keyframe and go to the graph editor. And here for the graph editor, let's just drag this point kind of up. And and this point actually let's just get it somewhere like maybe there i don't know and this will already make it so much better as you can see but still the opacity is not that good so let's go out of there and go to the opacity graph and the opacity graph has to be very sharp so it has to be like this and this yeah something like this and now we pretty much have it like that which is a really really cool ghost effect i'm not gonna lie it's amazing and after this ghost effect i actually have another ghost effect i already pre-made it's just it's a really simple one i don't even know if i should even make it i mean as 
as you can see, barely anything happens here, just the ghost like that pops up. But I want to add a transition here between these two ghosts, which is an insanely good transition. So let's press Control to Y. And I'm going to maybe start from right here. So I'm going to be adding a quality pre made transition, which is called Warp Transition. An amazing transition. And we can call this Warp Transition. And with five seconds of work, we have done this. Okay, not five seconds, but you know, like very quickly. It looks ridiculous. Uh, this preset did take a long time to make, but since I made it, you can just drag and drop it and instantly made just like that. You do need to have the Sapphire plugin though for these presets. So if you do have the Sapphire plugin, 100% recommend them. All right. And after this ghost, we also have a really, really cool ghost, which also abuses the position keyframes. So it's pretty much the same as this one, almost just it's a bit opposite. And now let's go and make the final one, which I believe is really, really good, but it is a bit trickier to make, but not that hard. So let's go to this clip. That's just called a clip. Uh, let's press control D and press control D again. And now let's call this one bottom and go to the clip four. Let's call this top. And here on the bottom, I'm going to add U saturation. I'm just going to keep him the channel range and go to the last frame. And I'm going to make it, you know, as we did before, make it go around the block like this, around the circle, I'm sorry. And that's going to be pretty cool. And now we can start doing some fun stuff. So let's press S on the top layer, scale it, you know, to this, press on that. And let's make the scale at the start, like somewhere like 155. And now let's press T and make the opacity to 50 and keep it right here and go to the bottom layer and press s make it to like 110 keyframe it here and also press t and just keyframe it at the 100 so now let's press u at the top layer and press u at the bottom layer to see all of our keyframes as you can see guys this is really not that hard and let's go to the ending keyframe which is actually let's just pick it like right here you know where we start the second clip and here i'm going to make the scale to 135 but the opacity lower to like 25 and the bottom layer let's make it scale up so 155 but the the only to 10 and now actually we can drag this u saturation point also right here and now we can select all of the keyframes from the top one press f9 select all the keyframes from the bottom press f9 and we have almost made it this is going to be really really good by the way i'm just saying let's go to scale of the top layer and just make it really sharp like this yeah it has to be very sharp go out of there go to the opacity make it very sharp as well it's very important to make these very sharp and go out of there go Go to scale of the bottom layer. Guess what, guys? Make it very sharp. Something like this. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that looks pretty cool. Go out of there and go to opacity and make it also, guess what? Very, very sharp like that. But this effect is not that cool by itself. You need to go to something like top layer and press P and make it go to like a different position. And you can also press P on this one layer and make this go to a different position. And you're just going to have a couple of different ghosts. Honestly, position this however you want. It's just going to look really, really cool. Yeah the first clip we can press ctrl y again so here yeah, i'm just gonna add like a chroma distortion and here guys we have pretty much crafted an insane just an absolutely insane almost like an edit i don't even know like this is crazy sequence very quickly with these crazy ghost effects i mean literally top tier effects right here i don't even know how else you could say this it was very easy all we did was just change the opacities scale them up added some impact presets and voila we got it right here it means a lot to me that you guys support the channel and just everything that i do so as a thank you gift i would like to give you a five dollar discount code on the impact presets pack which is going to be called povicas if you use code povicas you will save five dollars off on the impact presets pack and the pack will be linked in the description but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see you